educated audience students and scholars here i am dr amjad reddy scholar so far as we have discussed about the determinants of real exchange rate so with the help of determinants of real exchange rate we will try to answer one of the main question that how policies influence the real exchange rate so, okay while talking about how policies influence the real exchange rate we will try to focus on fiscal policy at home fiscal policy abroad and shifts in investment demand the effects of trade policies okay while talking about fiscal policy at home we will try to answer one of the main question that what happens to the real exchange rate if the government reduces national saving by increasing government purchases or cutting taxes this reduction in uh, saving lowers uh, s minus i and thus uh, net exports uh, that is the reduction in saving causes our trade uh, deficit in the economy okay for the better understanding of this relationship we can uh, show this relationship in the graphical presentation that we have the impact of expansionary fiscal policy uh, at home on the real exchange rate we have the net exports on x axis and we have the real exchange rate on y axis and we have s1 minus i on a vertical line we have the vertical line here here we have the net exports uh, and x1 and here we have the real exchange rate curve uh, which decides the real exchange rate and the level of uh, net exports in the economy here uh, the, at the equilibrium this is the amount of uh, net exports and this is the uh, real exchange rate uh, epsilon 1 uh, okay uh, while uh, 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 expansionary uh, uh, fiscal policy a reduction in saving reduces the supply of dollar and the curve shift from s1 to uh, s2 minus i so here uh, we have a reduction in uh, saving reduces the supply of dollar and we have uh, a rise in the a real exchange rate epsilon 1 to epsilon 2 okay we have a reduction in our net exports so oh, and x1 to and x2 we have a cause net exports fall so <coughs> the expansionary uh, fiscal policy at home such as an increase in government purchases or a cut in taxes reduces national saving the fall in saving reduces the supply of dollar to be exchanged in foreign currency from s1 uh, minus i to s2 minus i this shift uh, raises the equilibrium uh, real exchange rate from epsilon 1 to epsilon 2 so this figures uh, show that uh, uh, how the equilibrium real exchange rate are just to ensure that uh, net exports fall the change in uh, policy shift the vertical line uh, s1 minus s uh, uh, minus i to s2 minus i uh, so the lower the supply causes uh, the real exchange rate to rise from epsilon 1 to epsilon 2 as we have discussed earlier the dollar become more valuable uh, because the rise in the value of the dollar domestic goods become more expensive relative to foreign goods which causes exports to fall and imports to rise the change in exports and the change in imports both act to reduce net exports in the coming period okay fiscal policy at abroad uh, while talking about the fiscal policy abroad we have to answer one of the main question that what happens to real exchange rate if foreign government increase uh, government purchases or cut taxes okay this change in fiscal policy reduces world saving and raises the world uh, interest rate 
Okay, the increase in the world interest rate reduces domestic uh, saving I, which uh, raises uh, S minus I and thus uh, net exports in the long run. So that that is the increase in uh, uh, interest rate causes our trade surplus in the economy. So for the better understanding, let's see a graphical presentation of uh, this relationship. Uh, the impact of expansionary fiscal policy uh, abroad on the real exchange rate. Okay, we have the uh, net exports on uh, uh, our x-axis and we have the real exchange rate on, on our, our y-axis. So here we have S minus I A into R static 1. So here we have uh, the net export curve uh, so we have the real exchange rate and we have the net exports nx1 so an increase in the world interest rate reduces investment from uh, uh, from um, uh, i e, i to i1 and we have uh, S minus I into R static 2. So an increase in interest rate reduces investment which increases the supply of uh, dollar in the economy and uh, this reduces uh, the uh, real exchange rate uh, from epsilon 1 to epsilon 2 and this will further increases uh, the net exports from NX1 to NX2 and we have a rise in our net export. So expansionary fiscal policy abroad reduces world saving and raises the world interest rate uh, from uh, R static 1 to R static uh, 2. The increase in the world interest rate reduces investment at home. Uh, which in turn raises the supply of dollar to be exchanged into foreign currency. As a result, the equilibrium uh, real exchange rate falls uh, from epsilon 1 to epsilon 2. So this shows that uh, this change in uh, policy shifts the vertical uh, S minus the vertical line S minus I E to S minus I static uh, R static 2. So uh, uh, this uh, reveal that at equilibrium uh, real exchange rate falls that the dollar become less valuable and domestic goods become less expensive relative to foreign currency. Okay, shift in investment uh, demand. Okay, here we have the main question that what happens to real exchange rate if investment demand at home increases, perhaps because uh, Congress uh, passes an investment uh, tax credit law. Okay, at the given uh, world interest rate, the increase in investment demand leads to higher investment. A higher uh, value of uh, I means lower value of uh, uh, S minus I and net exports. So that is uh, the increase in investment demand causes our trade uh, deficit in the economy. So for the better understanding, let's see a graphical presentation that uh, how the shift in investment demand impact the uh, exchange rate and overall uh, net exports of the economy. So the impact of an increase in investment demand on the real exchange rate, we see we will see it in the graphical presentation here we have the net exports on, on our x-axis and we have the real exchange rate on y-axis so we have uh, s minus i1 and here we have net export n minus 1 and uh, we have a, a real exchange rate uh, epsilon 1 so uh, we have an increase in investment uh, uh, reduce the supply of dollar and we have the uh, shift in vertical line from S to S minus I2 and we have uh, 
uh, here an increase in investment reduced in the supply of dollar and uh, we have a rise in the real exchange rate we have a rise in the real exchange rate and uh, we have a, a reduction in exports we can say the net exports so an increase in investment demand uh, we uh, have uh, uh, rise in the quantity of domestic investment from uh, I1 to I2 uh, as a result the supply of dollar to be exchanged into foreign currency falls uh, from S minus uh, I1 to S minus I2 this fall is in supply raises the equilibrium real exchange rate uh, from uh, epsilon 1 to epsilon Two. Okay, uh, so the overall presentation of the graph shows that when investment uh, uh, tax credit make in, uh, uh, investment in the United States uh, more attractive, it also increases the value of the U.S. dollar uh, necessary to make these investment. When the dollar appreciates, domestic uh, goods become more expensive relative to foreign goods and net exports will fall in the reaction. Okay, the effect of trade policy, uh, 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 how the trade policy will affect the trade balance or, or, uh, or the real exchange rate will uh, react to that. Now we uh, have uh, to model that uh, explain the trade balance and the real exchange rate. Uh, we have the tool to examine the macroeconomic effect of, of trade policy here. Okay, trade policy is broadly defined our policy designed to influence directly the amount of goods and services exported or imported. Okay, uh, most often trade policies uh, take the form of protecting domestic industry from uh, foreign competition either uh, by placing a tax on, on foreign imports, a tariff type, or restricting the amount of uh, goods and services that can be imported a uh, quota. Okay, uh, protectionist uh, trade policy consider uh, what would happen if the government prohibited uh, the imports of uh, foreign cars. Okay, for any given real exchange rate, imports would uh, now be lower, implying that net exports, uh, exports minus imports would be higher, thus the net export uh, schedule shifts outward. So, for the better understanding, we uh, we can see uh, the shift with the help of uh, diagram. So, see here the impact of protectionist uh, trade policy on uh, real exchange rate. So, we have the uh, net exports on uh, x-axis and we have the real exchange rate on y-axis. So, here we have S minus I, a vertical line and we have the that exports uh, NX1 here okay we have a, a, a real exchange rate epsilon 1 and that exports NX1 okay a shift in uh, uh, net exports uh, uh, NX epsilon 1 to NX epsilon NX Epsilon 2 and uh, the protectionist uh, policy raises the demand for net exports here. Okay, uh, at this point we have a higher real exchange rate uh, Epsilon 2 and uh, but here we have uh, net exports uh, is equal to our next net exports is equal to. So this means that uh, we have uh, no change in our net exports. So protection trade policy such as a ban on imported cars shift the net export uh, curve uh, from NX E1 to NX E2 uh, which raises the real exchange rate from epsilon 
we can say epsilon 1 to epsilon uh, 2. Notice that uh, despite the shift in the net export, uh, the curve, the equilibrium level of net exports uh, remain unchanged. So, uh, so this analysis shows that the protectionist trade policies do not the trade balance and this surprising conclusion is uh, often overlooked in a popular debate over trade policies because trade deficit reflect an assess of imports over exports one might guess that reducing imports such as by prohibiting imports of foreign cars would reduce a trade deficit yet the model shows that uh, protectionist policies lead uh, only to an appreciation of the real exchange rate. This increase in the price of domestic goods relative to foreign goods tends to lower net exports by stimulating imports and depressing exports. Thus, the appreciation affects the over uh, sets the increase in net exports that is directly attributable to the trade restriction. Although protectionist trade policies do not alter the trade balance, they do affect the amount of trade as we have seen because the real exchange rate appreciate the goods and services we produce uh, become more expensive uh, relative to foreign uh, uh, goods and services we therefore expose less in the new equilibrium because uh, net exports are unchanged we must import uh, less as well uh, so, uh, the protectionist policy reduces both the quantity of imports and quantity of exports. This fall in total amount of trade is the reason economists almost always uh, opposite protectionist policy. International trade benefits all countries by allowing uh, each country to specialize in what it produces best and by providing each country with a greater variety of uh, goods and services. Protectionist policy uh, diminishing these gains from trade also uh, uh, these policies benefit certain group uh, within society. For example, a ban on imports car help domestic car producer uh, society on average is worse off when policies reduce the amount of international trade. So this is all about uh, how policies influence the real exchange rate. So see you with another video. Ciao.